Is Charles in today? Oh, you remembered my name. Um, he's in the conference room. Head on in. He's waiting for you. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Controversy himself. Mr. Controversy. Bro, this was your idea. Hey, all I'm saying is this whole thing is kind of fun, don't you think? Hey, look, you're supposed to be my agent, not the devil on my shoulders, man. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I just booked you an interview with your boy, Frank. Okay. He's the perfect person to help us crank this thing up to an 11. So what, we, we ripping the organization, or...? No, nah, no, nah, we're still on their side. We're just also on your side, okay? So what you want to do is confirm you're not happy, okay? But you want to come off more like the victim and not the antagonist. Don't put their nose in it, but don't hide the truth. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, just remember, you're not the one acting out of turn here. It's Coach. You should feel good about what you're doing, MP. He wants to play his little games. We'll play him, but we play him to win. Yeah. How you doing, Frank? Oh, hey there. Good to see you. Okay. Ah, well, shall we begin? All you, Frank. What you got? Okay, well, let me look at my notes here real quick. Okay, I'd like to talk about the controversy surrounding the like of a tweet from user Start MP, you idiots, which states, and quotes, uh, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Right, okay, I know that one. Uh, okay, uh, could you tell me what was meant by liking that tweet? I mean, is it your belief that you're not being uh, properly maybe utilized by the coaching staff? Okay, so look, Frank, everybody wants to play, myself included, and that's just the nature of being a competitor, but I wouldn't say coach isn't utilizing me, right? It's more that I'm anxious to show everyone how I can help us win. Well, but the quote, I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face would suggest that you don't think the coaching staff is doing a good job of evaluating talent then. Honestly, I didn't read, I didn't read that part, so for that I do apologize. I just saw a fan giving me props and I threw a like on it just to be nice. Now, the rest is just a misunderstanding. And I apologize, again. Okay, okay. So have you talked about this episode with your coach or front office, perhaps? Like, what do they think about all this? Hmm. Look, I'm gonna keep those conversations private, but we've discussed it and we're and we're gonna move forward together. We're all on the same page now. Okay, well well then tell us then, were you reprimanded? Perhaps? Like I said, Frank, I'm gonna keep those discussions between us, but our relationship is, is great. It's even better than great. So I'm looking forward to moving forward and putting this behind us. All right, MP, do you have time for one more perhaps? I'm so sorry, but I actually gotta head out. Okay, all right, all good, no worries. Best of luck next game, all right? Hey, look, thank you, Frank. I'll catch you soon, man. All right, see you then. I got something for you, MP. Thanks for meeting me, MP. Hey, look, you making this easy on me. I was gonna be down here anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, I figure since every time we talk, we end up talking about your fashion choices anyway, yeah. it makes sense to meet here, you know? Hey, look, Andrew, this is my spot. Right, right. Listen, you know, the thing I've been wondering about is now that you're dipping your toes in the fashion world, what is it about fashion that's so important to you? <sighs> I mean, it's the, it's the ultimate first impression. Okay. Gee, look at this, hold mm -hmm. on. Look at all these clothes, they tell a story. Mm -hmm. you, you get to find out what people are, what they like. Uh, colors, patterns, textures, all of that. It just, anything you choose to wear is telling me everything I need to know about you. That's the reality. Interesting. So what's the first thing you notice about the way someone's dressed? You know, Andrew, it's the details. Check this. You see somebody jacket, what you looking at? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the buttons. Okay. I see somebody in the suit, I'm looking at the pocket square. Now let's work our way down to them shoes. What you looking at? I'm looking at the laces. I want to know every decision you made or didn't make before you walk out the door. Do you have a stain on your shirt? You know what I'm saying? Do your socks match your shirt? It's all about the details. Mm. Every little thing matters. Okay, I feel you. Now, I'm probably going to regret this, but <laughs> let's just do it. What do you see when you're looking at me? Uh, hey, look, it might be easier for me to tell you what advice I give you, okay? Okay, let's go with that. Honestly, man, I just invest in a couple core pieces that are just excellent. I'm talking about quality. You go spend a little bit more, but it's gonna be worth it on the back end. And then once you get about 15 of those, bro, you got you got about 60 different outfits that you can do anything with. And trust me, ain't nobody gonna remember just the one thing, but they all gonna remember that you was the flyest dude in the room. <laughs> Thanks, MP. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that. Hey, look, man, you in the right place, eh? I appreciate you doing this yeah, for, for me. Sure. Hey, look, get to it. Yeah, thanks, man. MP, just the stylish man I wanted to see. Here I am. 
Here I am. You talk to reporters, right? After your little basketball games. Oh, after the big ones too. Yes, Mark. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Excellent. I was thinking, next time you talk to a reporter, maybe slip in a little mention about how much you like your pal Mort and uh, his store swags. Mort, I think usually after the games, they like to ask questions about the basketball. Mm, most, but not all, huh? Maybe use some of your newfound skills in the field of public relations to help a yeah. buddy out. Yeah. I'm not asking you to lie. Mort. Just tell all your fans how much you love shopping Mort. here and yeah. that it's the greatest store yeah. since sliced bread. Mort, look. In your own words. If the course. question is right, if it comes up, look, I do it, all right? Thank you. Thank you. You need any clothes today? Huh? I'm good, man. I'm Socks? Good. SBMP, I'm Sasha. How you doing, Sasha? Look, I'm about to just jump straight into it. I love the idea of working with you and your team, truly. No team, just me. Oh. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. And if I want something spectacular, I do it myself. And I didn't say I wanted to work with you. I said I wanted to talk about working with you. It's not the same thing. Let's talk about it. I design sportswear. Most people think that means I design sweatpants. <laughs> I definitely do not design sweatpants. My clothes are not meant for lounging on the couch. I work out so I look good. Why shouldn't I look good while working out? That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Look, we already on the same page here. Yes, 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 yes. So I could design something absolutely striking for you. Could, but I'm not going to waste my time if you're going to treat my passion like something to be balled up in the bottom of a gym bag. I'm Sasha, you, you design something for me with your time and your effort. I'm going to give it the care it deserves, I'm telling you. Words are easy. I'll need a little more evidence of your commitment. I'm talking about how you dress for games, what you wear around town, how you talk about clothes and me in the press. You want me to earn it? I respect that. Here's what I'm thinking. Hey, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to show you that I'm serious about this. I shiver with anticipation. Oh! Look who's back. Back again. Coachy's back. Tell a friend. Yo, that was that was cringe, coach. <laughs> yeah, I'm not much of an Eminem guy. Don't really connect with the material. That's probably what you're reacting to. Oh man, it's good to see you. You know, it's, I feel good to have somebody back in my corner, especially somebody who know my game the way you do. Someone who helped build your game. No doubt, you definitely was a huge help. <laughs> good to see you, MP. So Harvey, he got you back as my personal guru. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, I like the work I did with you, and I'm a pretty good interview. So here we are. All right, so I, I got a question for you. Uh oh, serious mode. Um, What's up? You know about coaching, Lester, and all that stuff, right? Okay, what about it? Well, you know coach on, like, a, a coach level, so what, what should I do? Or did he say anything to you? Well, nothing specific. Some offhanded stuff here or there, but, uh, you know, I know he wasn't thrilled about the whole YouTube thing, but he just wants to win. That's all he cares about. So if you put in the work, help us win, I guarantee you'll get playing time. Look, you know I'm not scared of no hard work. All right, well, good. I well, spent some time, put together a plan. Okay. Some goals to keep you on track. You accomplish those goals, and you'll be in the starting lineup sooner rather than later. So I'm not starting. I know this isn't how you picture things playing out to start your career. But you give me everything you got, and you're going to earn a place in that starting lineup. And no one's going to stand in your way. Not Coach, not Harvey, not anyone. <laughs> you got me kind of fired up, Coach G. I like that. Yeah, well, I was listening to Meek Mill on the way to work today. Dreams and nightmares. Not bad. Gets the blood pumping. Hey, look, you're only about a decade late, but that's good for you. So that's we starting somewhere good. That's All good. right, you can go, kid. Good to see you. All right, good to see you too, coach. <laughs> I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan. Thinks he's more into fame than actually hoop. And I got to say, I agree wholeheartedly. You, hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach is the starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But hey. Maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he going to fold under the pressure? 
if I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are gonna need it. MP? You know, I'm actually really glad you're back. <laughs> yeah, me and you both, man. It's been a... Wait, hold on. You being too nice, bro. What you about to ask me to do? What? Well, I just can't be happy to see my friend. And what else? All right, fine. I came up with a genius idea, bro. Right. Now, check this out. There's a runway stage set up in the middle of the city. It's perfect for an impromptu fashion walk, I'm just saying. You want me to do a fashion walk in the middle of the city? All right, look, I know it sounds crazy, but that's why it's brilliant. Everybody be talking about it. Because everybody gonna be talking about it. Yeah. Like, I know you got style, man, and I know you've been wanting to start a fashion line someday. Well, the best way? Get people talking about it. I mean, you can't keep all this swag to yourself. All right, check this out. I'm gonna send you the info. You go check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, man, I feel you. But look, at some point after a long day, I just want to come home. I want to chill, bro. No business. Okay, and one day we will. After we've achieved all our dreams. <laughs> all right, so I shouldn't hold my breath. Got it. Nah, definitely don't do that. MP, and he banks in the layup. Well, I think playmate the group getting ready for the Rockets. Martin, he's checked in for Wood. Nuaba comes in for Gordon. MP is checked in for Green. And it's Augustine in for Wall. Grant, starting your career in the 50s. Oh, you know, actually 90s. Back then, we'd see teams usually score in the 80s and 90s. What do you think of the current scoring? Really, B.A., the 50s? <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it's crazy. I mean, back then, yes, every game was in the 80s and 90s. Now everyone that averages at least 100 points per game. This win marks their first victory of the new year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Cody Graham. Yeah. Yeah. Frank? Hi there, Frank Valentine here. Hey, it looked like you were out of your depth tonight. Now, does this validate the concerns about you on draft night? How you doing, Frank? Um, are you serious with that question? I mean, it was one game. Everybody has an off night, and that just goes to show that even before I got here, a lot of folks made up their mind about me just because I had a YouTube channel. But you know what? That's fine. You're going to get plenty of opportunities to see me play, and they won't like that at all. But what if they do? They won't. Yeah, but so how do you know? How do you make sure? I'm going to play better than I did next game, Frank. You'll see. <laughs> well, I sure hope so, at least for your sake. 